So uh, I just did a service call for a customer who put up one of these retractable ceiling fans. And uh, his problem was the light would turn on but not off. And he said all the YouTube videos were done by Asians and there was no instruction specific to what he was looking for. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show what you need to do when you wire up a ceiling fan with a remote control. So I'll just flip down to the page here that's relevant. Sorry about the poor quality of video that's going to come by shooting off of my screen here. But I'm a rookie videographer. Alright, so here's the main wiring diagram we need to be concerned with. Can you see my mouse there? Circling the black and the white. That's what would be up in the box in the ceiling. A black and a white wire. So the switch turns this black wire off and on. Sometimes there will be a third wire up there. A red wire and that's for ceiling fans. So you can turn the light on and off separately from this fan which can be turned on and off separately. Normally the red wire if it's here is for the fan. So here's what comes with the ceiling fan from here on. This little uh, remote control piece that goes up in the fan itself. The one that's like for your TV it's not shown here but it's it's a remote you have in your hand and you turn the thing off and on with it okay so very simply you just hook up this module to the black and the white that gives you power and the wall switch turns this whole thing off and on so you just hook white to white and black to red or whatever color is there to power it there's two wires one's a power wire and one's a, white, a neutral wire on the other end of this uh, remote control module is I guess you call it a receiver you got three wires the white which is a neutral the blue and a red or a black so typically um, the white goes to white it's pretty obvious this is in the fan here so you hook up the white to the white and the blue goes to the blue That'll be for your um, fan, and the red and black, red or black goes to the black, and that's going to be for your uh, light. It's either vice versa, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So what happened with the customer in this case, he had hooked up his fan so that um, the red wire, remember I said over here, it comes from the house for the fan. He hooked that up to the fan wire on this end, which is the blue, I believe it is. And that's why his um, light would not go off. You have to have everything on that fan, all the wires that come from the fan, they go to this receiver. They don't go to the house wires. So um, he had hooked up 120 from the house right to the fan itself. So when he switched on his fan switch on the wall, then uh, it bypassed this whole thing. So all I did was just hook these wires up right here. White to white, blue to blue, black to black. So again, just to review, if you're hooking up your own fan at home, all the wires that go to the fan come from this receiver that is supplied with the whole fan. The package it all comes together. You don't hook any house wires up directly to the fan itself. So just so you got the picture here. Um, let's see if I can back up here and find the pictures that help you get a better idea of what I'm talking about.
So right in here is where the fan wires are. Can you see that? There's the, that's the fan. That's attached to this whole big fan. And here's the remote. So all these wires from the fan go to this side of the remote, the three wires. And the house wires go to the two wire side. So if your house wires come with a white and a black, you're good to go. If you got a white, black, and a red, just leave the red. Don't You don't need it. So here's the remote control. And that solves the problem. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> I'm not used to doing these YouTube videos. Um, I'm doing it to get the algorithms and get the internet traffic. And also, yeah. Okay, I wouldn't make the video if it wasn't for customers getting attracted. But the beautiful thing about YouTube is you can do just about anything like us handyman um, that is a wealth of resources so you know you, if you take out of the kitty you should put into the kitty so I'm putting something in for you guys I don't know if this is gonna help it would have helped my customer today he had to shell out 160 bucks for me to come over there and fix that problem for him and there's no videos out there right now addressing this particular issue and just to review again there can be three wires in your your house ceiling box and if there is you have a white um, a black and a red the red is the fan wire and the black is the light wire and the neutral is the white wire that's up in your ceiling if you're putting in one of these remote lights you don't need the red wire because in the old days you turn the fan off and on separately with a switch for the fan and so that's why that red wire is up there as an extra wire all you need is to power up the fan the new fans because they just need power off and on and they can control everything whether it's a Wi-Fi speaker a light or the fan blades so yeah yeah if you like this video hit the thumbs up comment below and hit the subscribe button and give me some algorithms.